Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we'll see what happened when we stop the virtual machine in the Azure portal and the difference between the uh, deallocated and uh, stopped states. So I have logged into the Azure portal. Let me go to the virtual machine and uh, open the VM01. So here we have the option to stop the VM restart and start the vm let me log into the vm so here we have uh, os disk temporary storage and data disk so now i'm going to save a file in all the disk and uh, we'll see what happened when we stop the vm let me uh, create uh, let me go to the os disk creating a folder let me create a text file this is os disk data okay and uh, next i'm copying the same file to the temporary storage and here this is temporary storage disk data And uh, next, copying the same file to the data disk. And this is data disk data. Okay, so when we stop the uh, virtual machine from the Azure portal, then it will be deallocated so that uh, it will be deallocated from the physical server hence uh, the data which is stored on the temporary storage will be lost and uh, the data which is stored on the uh, os disk and uh, data disk will still be there so let me just uh, go to the portal and uh, click on stop and click on yes do you want to stop vm01 yes so once uh, the virtual machine is stopped and uh, deallocated then uh, we will start the vm again and log into the uh, virtual machine and see the status okay it is deallocating okay so now the status stopped and deallocated now let me start the vm again and then log into it so you can click on start and it's starting the virtual machine let's wait for the uh, status to be running okay started a virtual machine and uh, you can see the status running let me log into the vm okay i just logged in let me open the file explorer and uh, go to the temporary storage and uh, here we can see that uh, uh, the test file that we have created it's no longer in the temporary storage that means uh, once we stopped and deallocated whatever data that is stored on this uh, temporary storage will be lost and if i go to the data disk we can still see the file which is stored here and uh, next if i go to the os disk under the data this is os disk data 
okay so uh, next uh, uh, we can you know create a file under the temporary storage so there is a shutdown option within the OS itself and uh, once we use this shutdown option it will not be deallocated and uh, once we shut down from the portal then only it will be deallocated so now let's see the difference between the shutdown in the OS and from the portal so let me create a new text file this is from temporary storage data okay now i'm going to initiate a shutdown from the windows okay so i have shut down the vm now let's see the status from the portal okay so here we can see the status as stopped and uh, we can still see there is a stop button available and uh, it is not deallocated okay now i'm going to start the vm again and see whether we lost the data or not So since we have, uh, you know, initiate the shutdown from the OS level, the data which is stored on the temporary storage will still be there and it won't be removed. Okay, the virtual machine is started. Let me RDP into it. Okay, let me open the file explorer and go to this pc and open the temporary storage and uh, now we can see the data is still there in the temporary storage okay so ideally for any application related data it is you know recommended to use the data disk instead of using the temporary storage and uh, also uh, restarting the vm from the os it will not affect anything so the data which is stored on the temporary storage will still be there only it will be lost when we stop the vm from the azure portal okay so that's it uh, in this video and i'll see you in the next